Roger, Roger. Oh, God! <laughs> it's rotating. It's June 21, and just a week ago, I posted my take on the upcoming release by the Pentagon on its UAP UFO investigative report or study on these crazy crafts they've tracked performing impossible maneuvers above Navy ships and military bases. By now, you know that the Pentagon changed the name from UFOs to UAP, but they both mean the same, unidentified flying objects. I admit, unidentified aerial phenomena is more mysterious, like ghosts or demons. I guess the top brass of the Pentagon has to offer a more scientific approach to their research. I get it. However, it's more of a plain Jane title, maybe meaning swamp gas or optical illusions, not real objects. Yes, that's why I don't like the term UAP, because they're implying not real and definitely not extraterrestrial. Now, I have to admit that the term UAP would be a good scientific name in a serious science fiction movie about alien invasion. Of course, the government would not admit to aliens unless they landed on the White House lawn with their own menacing robot. Oh yes, that was from The Day the Earth Stood Still, the classic science fiction flick from 1951 with Michael Rennie as the alien and his robot pal Klaatu. By the way, I hated the remake. It was way too violent, and you already knew the ending. The Earth was saved from destruction. Why so violent and complicated? Oh, sorry, I'm just rambling. So back to reality and unidentified aerial phenomena. You'd think the unclassified report would have either been leaked or released before the deadline. We are all waiting at the edge of our chairs for the facts. But so far, nothing yet. However, the approaching deadline is stirring up a bit of controversy, especially among lawmakers. Strange reports are now happening as we approach the June 25th deadline. Members of Congress have had advanced information on the upcoming reports, and some are saying that these UFOs are posing a threat to our national security. When I read this report from The Guardian, accessed on Yahoo News, things are starting to feel a bit alarming. Who knows if the upcoming unclassified report we passionately await will offer concrete evidence of what those damn flying things represent. To be honest, it's starting to sound a bit scary. Not exactly a War of the Worlds pending invasion moment. H.G. Wells was a master at creating panic. Just a what the hell has been going on all these years. Scary. I want to know what the Navy has been tracking and from what galaxy. We all do but I'm not sure the Pentagon will be open about what they know. It's the same old, same old. They don't want to scare the public, but like the Martians created by H.G. Wells, it's going to scare us all. If you want to worry, Tennessee Republican Congressman Tim Burchett stated, clearly something's going on that we can't handle after seeing the advanced UAP report details. If it's the Russians or the Chinese using these highly technical crafts to spy on our homeland shores or even try to manipulate or influence our elections, this is a serious national security issue, and we have something to worry about. But if it's invaders from an unearthly alien civilization, either to serve man on the menu from an old Outer Limits television drama, to offer technical aid, or even advice to stop worldly conflicts, is that better? Who knows? But I'm really getting impatient. I guess I can wait a few more days. I'll report back after June 25th with more information and more comments on how I feel, and frankly, what most people feel about this UFO UAP flap. The government should tell us what they know. If the report has little or no information to unravel this mystery, I'm still confident that people in the know will eventually leak the truth. The Pentagon should be telling us everything. We're adult enough to take the truth. Come by in a week for my next report. I'm Howard Barenbond from UFOs Are Us.